Hey everybody, it's Eric, here with another installment of Ponderings with Aquanuga, where we answer your questions. Uh, today's question is coming in from Pat in South Carolina. Uh, said, Pat says, I see you guys sell test kits for pH and other things. Am I supposed to be testing my pond like I do my pool? Well, Pat, that's, a, that's an important question. Um, it, do most people test their pond water? No, probably not. Uh, is it a good idea? Absolutely. Um, the big thing with water testing is uh, that it's going to alert you to a problem before it's affecting the fish. Uh, unfortunately, most people that do even bother to test the pond water are waiting until the fish are under stress or, or even dying before they bother to test and then try to figure out what's going on. Uh, but if you're monitoring that water chemistry on a regular basis, then you're going to start to see a change that's going to alert you well before the fish are impacted by it. So regular water testing is absolutely a good idea. Um, now, there are different types of tests. Uh, of course, there are different things to test for. Uh, pH, as you mentioned, uh, ammonia is another important one, nitrites, nitrates. Uh, as well as the carbon of hardness. Uh, then you can get into other things, general hardness, salinity uh, as needed, phosphates, things like that as well. Um, and then those tests are going to be either in a, a liquid test kit where you're filling a vial with some pond water, putting the measured number of drops of the reagent in there, and, and allowing that uh, to uh, change colors, comparing that color to a chart provided with the test kit. Or there are test strips. Uh, the test strips are quicker, easier, um, but not quite as accurate. Now, the test strips are fine for most people for that regular water testing, where you just kind of need an idea of where things are, um, you know, so that you can see a, a change. You, your pH may not be reading exactly. You may, you know, feel, okay, it's somewhere around 7.5 to 8, something like that. And as long as the, your pH is staying there week to week, then that's going to be okay. So, so absolutely being able to be alerted to those changes before it affects the fish is certainly a good idea. Uh, thanks, Pat. Appreciate the question. Uh, if anyone else needs anything, we're always here to help. You can leave a question in the comment below. Reach us by email, phone live chat, whatever works for you. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.